welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I am doing my first fall makeup tutorial for 2018. This is the look I came up with today and I absolutely love it. I'm literally obsessed. I feel like it's the definition of fall. And yeah, I'm so excited that this is the look for my first fall makeup tutorial. There's definitely going to be many more to come soon. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below on your thoughts. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, be sure to do so. But without further ado, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, y'all, so I just did my eyebrows. And excuse if my hair, like if I just look a little ratchet right now, because, you know, full face ain't done. But let's get right started into the eyes. Okay, so I have two palettes that I want to use today. But the one that specifically inspired this look. The second I saw this one, this is the Perfusion Cosmetics Mixed Metals Peach Palette. And I was just going through my makeup the other day. And when I saw these colors, girl, I was like, fall tutorial. This palette is what is inspiring this look for today. And then the other palette, this is the Beauty Creations Tally. So cute. But taking this shade, I'm going to use Outgoing for my crease. And you guys already know fall is all about those warm colors and that build up. I actually never use profusion shadows. So I'm gonna see. I kind of also want to do a V shape as well just because my foundation's not done yet so I'm gonna cut that with concealer later on. I'm taking this Royal and Lane Nickel Crease Brush by the way. I kind of just want a little touch of color. Of course it's gonna be a super warm look today. So it's actually so funny because I mean last year I kind of experienced it but this year is a little like more weird just because now I've lived here for a year. I think it's like especially hitting me this year that I'm not experiencing like a fall fall. Um, you guys know I lived in New York my whole life so to come to a state where there's not really a fall like my mom was already telling me New York's starting to drop in temperature and it's so funny here um, everyone talks about fall here and like gets just as excited but the weather is still summer so it's kind of funny to see and every so often I'm gonna go in with this big morphe brush and blend I don't even know if this is meant to like for the eyelid but I just was gravitated towards it because it's just super big and fluffy and it's just going to blend out my shadow. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Special. So yeah, I'm so excited for fall even though it's not really fall. Um, fall fashion is one of my favorites. So yeah, but when I moved here, I told myself that I would not be one of those people that wears um, like long sleeves and 80 degree weather. But honestly, like... I see why people do it now like it just you get so used to the heat and I don't even know <laughs> I'm definitely loving it I'm not complaining I moved away for a reason don't get me wrong though I do love New York Falls but only until mid-October and then I'm like get me out of here like it's starting to get too cold fall weather here at least last year didn't start to like December if I'm being honest so I'm just building up this brown I want it to really stand out and almost take over the crease just a little bit so this week I'm having a super productive week I'm filming pretty much every day so you should see a lot of videos coming soon but I'm also doing a shoot at the LA Fair, which I'm so beyond excited for. Those pictures are about to be sick. Okay, so obviously we just have our rough draft right now. But I kind of want to start bringing in Outspoken and Crimson. So I'm going to use Outspoken first. Just to bring more like burgundy fall vibes. And I'm going to start mixing this in the crease. Already look how much warmth that brought in. I need to blend that though. I haven't done a V'd out eyeshadow look in so long. I'm used to it being circular. So this is going to get super messy out here. But don't worry because we going to clean her up. I forgot how they even like look on me. Oh but we just going to go for it. Ugh, this rosy color is beautiful. I think that's... The kind of lip I want to try and go for today. Just gonna clean the inner corners up and to do that I just take concealer on the back of my hand like the slightest amount and I work that on the nose and the side because when you're blending it could get a little crazy in there. So now I'm gonna take this Too Faced liquid eyeshadow in Sweet Spot and I'm just gonna start applying this and kind of cut my crease with it. 
Honestly, these aren't as opaque as the Stila shadows, so I might go in with one of those. I'm just trying to get a feel for her. So I'm going to take Golden Goddess. And do some cut crease action. I'm going to go back in with Sweet Spot. Just so we have like a little mix action going on. And I'm going to start adding that deep dark brown to the outer corner. And smoke it in with the glitter on the end. So now I'm going to go ahead and just wipe this clean. A tip to clean this is take your nail or just your finger and kind of crisp it up. I'm not trying to make it perfect right now because I'm going to do that better with the foundation and concealer. But at least just to give an idea. Okay, so for today's face, I'm going to be using... MAC Studio Fix products starting with the MAC Studio Fix foundation in NC20 So I'm just going to blend this all over my face and then I'm so excited because we're gonna be trying out their brand new concealers Okay, so now moving on to the star of the show, the new Studio Fix Foundation, uh, I mean concealer. I'm going to take this yellowy shade. Oh, this is NC20 as well. Okay, so I'm going to take NC20 and I'm going to use a light layer of this. And then I think I'm going to go in with NC15 or maybe not. Cause this looks kind of light. This is a 24 hour smooth wear concealer. It's supposed to provide seamless coverage, wear imperfections, and have all day wear. It's a liquid fluid concealer with medium to full buildable coverage. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this out. It does seem pretty liquidy and light, um, the formula at least. Ooh. And so far, I am loving how this looks. So I'm using the edge of my Beauty Blender. Perfect that shape of the shadow. So far, I actually love this. I'm not opposed to it. You guys know I have high standards for my concealers. My favorites are Shape Tape and then the Too Faced Born This Way. But honestly, I so far, I approve, girl. And one of my favorite MAC powders is the MAC Next to Nothing powder, which I have, but I'm not sure where it is, and I'm running low on time, so we're just going to leave that at that. And then they also came out with new, I'm beyond excited about these, I'm going to just take these two powders to set all over. I'm gonna fix my eyeshadow in a little bit, by the way. And now I'm gonna take this, the lighter palette. I'm gonna go into the deeper one in a little bit too to get a little bit uh, warmer of shades. I'm just going to sculpt out my cheekbones. And ooh, I'm mixing all three shades. Oh, wow. They actually look light, but as you can see, it's creating a really warm, nice contour. So I don't think I even need to go in with the other one, to be honest. I'm just going to bronze up the forehead. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is smoke out my lower lash line. I'm going to use that original brown shade we used. Also going to take a brown and very precisely line. So now I'm going to pop my lashes on and I'll be right back. Alright y'all, so lashes are on. Today I used the Morphe Lashes in Temptation and I'm absolutely obsessed. They kind of fan out a little bit towards the ends and I just love the eye look. But I'm definitely missing some inner corner and brow bone highlight. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Amorizi highlight. That is definitely used a lot and there's a siren in every video. Never fail. Actually, was there a siren in yesterday's video? <gasps> Might have been a first. Ah, oh, that inner corner highlight just added so much. My outfit today, y'all, is fire. All right, we get it. We get it. Okay, so the brow bone highlight is on. Let me just blend. 
Okay, so now for blush, if I can find it. I'm gonna go in with Too Faced Baby Love, like pretty much always. I'm actually going in with my blending, well, my powder brush and using this to blend the cheeks and kind of tone them down just a tiny little bit. And I'm going to go in with Anastasia as my highlight today. Sheesh, another one. Okay, so before I spray, I kind of want to go in with this MAC lipstick. It is MAC Patrick Star. I don't know if it's going to go. Ooh, it goes really nice. Okay. Oh my god, I'm obsessed so far. I'm also going to take this glitter. So now I'm just going to spray my face. So that is it for this makeup look. I am so obsessed with it. I'm in love with how it came out. I love the hair combo. I just love everything about it. And I hope you guys do as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.